you saw recently that San Francisco had a massive power outage, yes? Yes, I did. Like 100,000 people without power for a good deal of time. That's not the interesting part. The interesting part is what happens to self-driving vehicles when the power goes down. And the Waymo cars in San Francisco caused such trouble that I, they're going to have to figure out a way to address this because when they could no longer read the cues of the streets, streetlights, for example. Right. Traffic, traffic lights, yeah. Lights, what do they do? They just stop. So you had all these Waymos just stopping right where they were. And all the non-Waymos, who we sometimes refer to as other humans, couldn't get around them. It just caused this disaster of a traffic jam. And this is one of those things that we talk about all the time. You can't foresee every eventuality. And this one was kind of obvious, actually. Why did nobody at Waymo say, oh, hey, wait a minute, when all the streetlights go out, our cars are going to go berserk and just stop in the middle of the road? Why not edge them to the curb? That's like probably 10 minutes worth of software work, edging them to the curb. And yet nobody thought about it. I love things like this because, you know, you see these apocalyptic movies where, you know, society falls apart and people who live in cities are rampaging across the countryside, stealing things. I'm thinking there's no way that's going to happen. The people in the cities aren't going to know how to get out. That's and even true. if they are able somehow to get out with the Waymo's not working and the Metro's not working, Google Maps isn't working. They're not going to know where to go. Everybody's screwed. I think this is hilarious.